As a first grade teacher brainstorming this speech, I couldn't help to think about my... <laughs> Guys, sorry. <laughs> I couldn't help to think about my students this year. Will any of them be so lucky to have a friendship so strong, everlasting, sincere as Lauren and I? Let's go back to 1997 when Lauren and I were in first grade ourselves. Lauren walked into Mrs. Bean's class, and little did I know, this really pretty girl arrived right down the road from me, and we became childhood best friends. As little girls, we couldn't wait for our wedding day, and now that we're here living our childhood dreams, I can't help but wish that my little girl is as lucky as us someday. <laughs> We have stood by our sides as long as we can remember. Through breakups, bridal showers, bachelorette parties, baby showers, and on our wedding days. I'm so proud of the person you have become and the life you have chosen for your son. Especially the man you have chosen to spend the rest of your life with. <laughs> I know what you're probably thinking. Why, why, are there, why were there four best men? In reality, there could have been 20 best men here. Because right, Kevin is the best friend to everyone here. He's been in more wedding parties than you can count. <laughs> if you're in this room and you haven't gotten married yet, 75% chance he's in your wedding parties. <laughs> but even though he's everybody's best friend, he means something different to all of us. To me, he is still this scrawny teenager, <laughs> fresh off of a gnarly bicycle crash. To me, Kevin is the guy that eats a sweet potato at exactly 7.18 p.m. every single night after work, who wholeheartedly believes he should have lived through the 70s. We could go on all night about how much fun the three of us have had together, but we cannot forget about how Lauren and Kevin first met. I remember the day like it was yesterday. Lauren said that there was this guy at the gym. He went to the gym same time as Lauren every day. They looked at each other, but nothing ever happened. <laughs> Finally, the day came. Kevin held the door for Lauren, and Lauren walked right past him out the door in her fastest speed walk ever. <laughs> she was so nervous. Lauren turns around and says to Kevin, do you come here often? <laughs> so as we've stated how Kevin and Lauren met at the gym, we've got the girl's version of how they met. For me, what I heard was one night after Kevin's last bite of sweet potato, he goes, hey, there was this hot blonde girl at the gym. She talked to me today. I think I might ask her out. And thank God he did. On this day, six years ago, Lauren was also wearing white. Now she may not have been walking down the aisle in a dazzling white wedding dress, but she was sporting cute white pants on her way to meet Kevin at a restaurant called Trotta. The question is asked, is there anything more beautiful in life than a young couple clasping hands in pure hearts in the path of marriage? Can there be anything more beautiful than young love? And the answer is given. Yes, there is a more beautiful thing. It is the spectacle of an old man and an old woman finishing their journey together on that path. Their hands are gnarled, but still clasped. Their faces are seamed, but still radiant. Their hearts are physically bowed and tired, but still strong with love and devotion. Yes, there is a more beautiful thing than young love, old love. These are the hands of your best friend, young and strong and vibrant with love on your wedding day, as you promise to love each other all the days of your lives. These are the hands that will work alongside yours, as together you build your future, as you laugh and cry, as you share your innermost secrets and dreams. These are the hands that will give you support as you encourage each other to chase down your dreams. Together as a team, everything you wish for can come true. 
I, Lauren, take you, Kevin. I, Kevin, take you, Lauren. To be my husband. To be my wife. To have and to hold. From this day forward. For better, for worse. For richer, for poorer. In sickness and in health. To love and to cherish. Till death do us part. I now pronounce you husband and wife. Kevin, you may now kiss your beautiful bride. Yeah.